Hi guys, today we'll talk about an NFT game that I stumbled upon in one of the groups I've joined in the NFT crypto communities. So this game, as you can see, is Welcome to the Land of Mochi Mori. So the game is Mochi Mori. I'm going to show you quickly their trailer because it's going to be most of the storyline and idea regarding the game. And I'm going to show you some screenshots also and the gameplay, like just the highlights. So you don't have to go through the entire green paper to understand the game. So this one, as you can see, there's like a planet with that's suffering from climate change. That's what they said here. And then basically it's like burning and the brink of extinction. So we have to save the planet, which is the Moy planet in this game. Uh, I like the sounds of this video. So we have to bring it back to life. That's basically like the entire game idea. And then we will bring it back. I like I like this scene and sound. So we will be Mori Saviors. The players will be called Mori Saviors. I don't know if the game will look exactly like this. I'll show you the sneak peek on their Twitter so that you can see the sneak peek. So this is now like the Mori Kingdom that it has flourished. I like this. Mochi Mori everyone that's our game trailer you kind of get the sense already what the game is all about it's like a green project wherein we will be helping the earth or the Mori planet um, become healthier so I'll just go over very very quickly on some highlights regarding the game they have a white paper and they call it green paper which is this bottom here you just have to go here and then read through it to get to know more about the details of the game I'm gonna skip towards the bottom because I do want to just focus on some things that you might need just for your research. So they did show their roadmap here. They mentioned that on 2021 Q3, it will be their project launch, initial seed giveaway, and NFT sales. So they did do the initial seed giveaway right now. Um, I think on early August, there was like 1,500 users or wallets that actually won so i asked the telegram there are actually people who are still there on the telegram group after winning the seed so they they there was like 100 whitelisted accounts no a thousand listed accounts and then 500 uh i guess random so i know it's like 1500 um seeds giveaway so after that one, um, they did say that the project launch should be around September, but they just announced on Twitter it's gonna take more time because they're really focusing on developing the game first instead of the token launch, which usually is what's happening with the games now. Some of the games do the token launch first and then it crashes and then people are no longer interested in playing the game, which is kind of sad because we actually have that token for the game, but then people stop playing because Cash. So for whatever reason, no taxing system or like fast profit, fast ROI, and then buy a lot of cases for high or quick buy and sell quick money. So it actually destroys the economy and that's not really a long term. So we'll see what Mochi Mari will do. We don't know how high the rewards will be and what exactly the reward systems. But in this game, in order to start playing, you need to have two things. The NFT are seeds and land. So you have to have both to start playing and the nft which is the seed and land is or can be bought here on mochi market so mochi market is another uh platform or uh yeah another platform which is an nft marketplace this is used differently from the mochi mori website it's totally separate but it's under the same um umbrella project of mochi lover mochilab.org and here if you enter the app and you click here you'll be able to see the mochi market as, as you can see there actually this is currently live mochi market is live um, you will be able to buy the nft seeds and nft lands here it's going to be bought using their moma token which is the one here on the upper right uh, it's a different token it's different from the game token of mochi mori i'll explain later and then with MoMA tokens or with BNB, you can buy the NFT seeds and 
NFT lands here on the Mochi Market website. So it's really easy. Uh, I know they linked it here on their website. Uh, yeah, it's here. On the mochimori.com website, you can just link to mochimori. Sorry, mochi market as you click this one. And then you can join the discussions on Telegram and Discord. Um, a lot of people are active on Telegram and then they started and moved their like, uh, communities or language specific communities on Discord. So there's only a global English uh, channel on Telegram. So you can check it out there to um, get some more news and updates as well. They, apart from the community Telegram, they also have what they call an announcement Telegram. So that's purely for announcements. So if you just want quick updates, you can just go ahead and check it out there. So let's proceed to their green paper. There's actually a lot of details you can get here. I'm not gonna read everything because I think the most crucial here is like number one, what are the NFTs that you have to buy? So that's a seed and the land. How do you buy it? So you buy it on Mochi Market using MoMA token, which is a different token from the game, or you can buy it through BNB. Once you have that, you can start playing the game. And in game, Let's focus quickly on the tokenomics because this will be the terms that might confuse you as you go and join the telegram and have the discussions within the team. So here, the governance and defi token will be Mori. So that's a game token. So it's Mochi Mori. This is the icon. And then basically that's going to be used as a governance token for the entire game. And then Mori goal is to align the incentives between Mochi Mori developers and players in the democratic Mochi Mori land. So that's the usual in-game payment method. So they just showed it here. We use Mori options for NFTs. And then the other token is the in-game reward token, which is OxyR02. So a lot of the activities in the game, we haven't seen any game demos yet, but like farming, um, there will be harvesting, watering your uh, trees. I think they will generate um, Oxy or the Oxy token. So it's actually Oxy because it's oxygen. So it's kind of cute. It really aligns on their um, green project concept or the environmental project concept. So it quite fits that uh, stereotype or storyline. Um, what's good about, and I guess this is like the, one of the reasons why I enjoyed um, being on the Mochi Mori community. Number one, the community is so far very, very positive and very responsive, even the moderators and the devs. Um, at the same time, this initiative is actually true to their story. So they did say that a portion of their profit will go to NGOs and lead initiatives. So that's yet to come when it does happen. I hope they show like photos and proof that the initiative actually goes through and pushes through. So this is like playing a game and then donating at the same time, which is kind of cool also. And then for the other unique portion about this community or this project is that they actually publish the faces and names of the developers and the um, team who basically developed Mochi Mori and Mochi Market. And they're actually behind the other game, which is Wanaka Farm. I'm not familiar with that one. But as you can see, there's names, pictures, and there's a link to their LinkedIn and their Twitter. Obviously, they made these accounts specific for Mochi Market and Mochi Mori. So that, but if you can check their LinkedIn, you could see like the history, like their past work before they're involved with Mochi Mori. So that's kind of promising also uh, because of the transparency. Um, again, the transparency on the names of the team, developing team, and then I guess how active the moderators and admins are in the Telegram and Discord groups. That's kind of making me feel um, good with investing in the game. But again, we don't know what will happen until the game launches. Um, that's not going to happen on very, very soon, I guess, because they did say it's going to happen on September, but they just announced here on their Twitter. Uh, they have its official Twitter account. They announced here that it's going to take a while because they're now focusing on developing the product instead of just releasing the token. And here on Twitter, I guess let's just show some pictures about some sneak peek on the game. This is one of the lands that they will be selling. This is uh, Arctic land and then there's another one which is the desert. Um, both are really cool artwork but I guess what's going to be interesting is those are like the 
um, NFT view of when you purchase the land. But when you're in the game, it actually will look like this. Let's go here. Okay, they did. This is like the initial draft, so it could change anytime when the game launches. But this is like how the game will look like when you start playing it. Kind of reminds me of like the tiles and plants versus zombies, but there's no zombies, so this is your other in game activities. Other than that, we just have really have to watch out for announcements here on Twitter, Telegram, or their official um, channels on the actual schedule of the game. So, what can you do now while the game hasn't launched yet? Number one, you can actually invest in Mochi Market. If you, they said that if you hold enough MoMA token um, or hold it for an enough period of time, you're gonna be eligible for whitelisting eventually for the Mochi Money release. So, on the details on that, there's actually nothing at the moment. But here, um, they did have some running activities on Telegram. There's a daily quiz. Um, you have a chance to win a common seat. So the winner for the daily quiz on Telegram will be receiving a uh, quiz. Ah, no, uh, what do you call this? A uh, common seat. And then there's another um, giveaway. The second one, well, it's not a giveaway, there's another event which is like active participants on their Telegram chat. So the quality and active participants will actually be ranked and then the top 10 will get like the whitelisting privileges of Mochimori release. So they get they get first dibs on the token release, so that's got an advantage also. For the quiz, you have a chance to, to participate the first Seven day quiz ends today, and then they said next week or probably starting tomorrow, there's a new set of quiz. So if you don't want to miss it, join by tomorrow, join their Telegram so you can join the quiz. So that's it for Mochi Mori. Yeah, I guess see you around, and thank you for watching this video. Bye!